Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video and I'm, I'm here to give you my review of day 2 of the ND NJPW G1 Climax 29-2019 The show went off the air several hours ago, it went off the air like 7 hours ago at least I just finished watching the show, sort of um, In fact, I'm going to be completely real and honest with you guys I, um... I really, like, didn't care to watch the show. Like, it was on my calendar uh, to watch G1 29 today. I was like, oh, really? Like, I just wasn't in the mood. I was, like, really enjoying this relaxed type of period that I was in, you know? And I was like, oh. But then I decided, you know what? And like I said, I I'm, I'm just want to be real. Completely real honest with you guys. I decided to just... To just watch highlights, okay? And I'm gonna give you my review of day two of the G1 Climax 29 2019 based off of those highlights. Coming clean, right there, real and honest with you. So just by that, this review may not be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just being real, being completely honest. I'm giving you exactly what I'm saying, okay? In this review. Um, uh, like I said, I really wasn't in the mood to watch it tonight. Um, but I did, kinda. Anyway, just for you guys. Okay. So I can get this review up there. And so this review is in the books. Alright. And yes, I have now come onto that trend in the wrestling community where nobody reviews the tag matches because no one does highlights of the tag matches, okay? I wasn't, I didn't really care to watch them anyway. I really don't care about the tag matches. I'm being real there, okay? Um, there are fun moments in those tag matches, for sure. But now I'm on this lazy bandwagon of, uh, of, uh, you know, not reviewing the tag matches in these reviews, so. Let's get on with uh, this review. First match. G1 Climax 29 B Block match. We have Juice Robinson versus Shingo Takagi. This was a really good match, honestly, guys. Borderline great. Um, I'm going to be completely clean with you guys. I really want to be a fan of Juice Robinson. But every time I try to be a fan, I just remember that bullcrap that happened at last year's G1 in San Francisco. When, especially that football douche who was in commentary thinking that he's allowed to get involved that night just pissed me off so much that you know smock that proves that re that smocks really did ruin wrestling they really did anti smocks suck as well but smocks take the cake for douche bagginess ruinism you know what i mean um and of course, just Robinson won because they want to pander to uh, freaking uh, smocks, you know. And this it's sad because this match to me would probably be like four and a quarter if it wasn't for the bull crap that happened last year. Because this match was dang good. This match was legit dang good, guys. Uh, lots of great counters, some fun moments. And just a really well rounded out, well thought out match, in my, in my opinion. But I, I just don't have it in me to give it any higher of a rating than if you see in the description of three and three quarter. Honestly, I, I just can't um, because of that bull crap that happened last year. And I stand by it. I believe I said in my day one review. Hey, uh, I, I I wish New Japan would stop coming to America. To freaking gratify these freaking American smocks. And there's three. Three New Japan shows in September. In the US. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Gratifying these idiot smocks. These douchebaggy smocks. I, and I'm watching any of those... I'm not going to review or watch any of those three crappy shows that are coming in September. You just, you just know that it's going to be full of smart pandering, smart 
crowd take up a BS. Freaking idiots. And and of course, it has to be on my birthday month of September. I'm a Libra, by the way, like Jay White. But yeah, just Robinson won, whatever. This would be match of the night, honestly, for me, if uh, if that crap hadn't have happened last year. It really would be. But no, that crap had to happen last year. I just can't seem to find a way to let it go. If any of you know a way to let that go, please tell me below. I'd be very much interested in hearing it. Next, G1 Climax 29 B Block match. John Moxley, my boy, John Moxley versus Tai Chi. Um, I was about to say, it just says Tai Chi. Isn't that supposed to be like Taiji Ishimori? And I was wondering, is this supposed to be Taiji Ishimori? Or is Tai Chi like its own thing? And I was like, oh yeah, because Taiji Ishimori, this is just Tai Chi. You know what I mean? So Tai Chi's his own guy. Uh, this match, honestly, I thought was awesome. This was honestly my match of the night. Even though technically the match didn't even start when it went on to the outside. Um, but it entertained me so much. John Moxley was in the crowd. Tai Chi attacked him. And they fought outside for a bit. I believe the match started while they were outside. It was just a really fun, awesome, fun match. Really quick too. And John Moxley putting Tai Chi through a table with the freaking Yurinagi? Is, is that the one I'm thinking of? Through the table? I always call that the rock bottom, but I know it's not actually the rock bottom. I just call it the rock bottom, even though I don't know it. It's actually, even though I don't know, even though I know it's not actually the rock bottom. And then John Moxley, uh, I think the riff got knocked down at one point, and then I think J Tai Chi tried to get the chair involved, but John Moxley grabbed the chair before him. Or something like that, and then John Moxley hit the chair, and they fought some more. Uh, John Moxley hit the Dirty Deeds, and yes, I know it's not called the Dirty Deeds anymore, but I keep forgetting what his new finisher is called uh, for the one, two, three. Yes! Oh man, if there's, if there's a guy besides Jay White who I want to win the G1, John Moxley, man. If John Moxley wins the G1, oh man, that would be the best thing ever. Like, oh man, I would be so happy about that. Uh, so yeah, um, next one. Uh, so that was my match tonight, not John Moxley vs. Tai Chi. Next match, G1 Climax 29 B Block match, Toriyano vs. Tetsuya Naito. If you look at the description, I gave this match a rating of LMFAO. That's literally my rating for this match. <laughs> it's funny because back in 2015 when I reviewed uh, Beast in the East, I rated Brock Lesnar vs. Kofi Kingston. LOL, that was literally my rating for that match. And this is kind of like that all over again. I uh, freaking loved, I had so much fun watching this match. It was only three minutes long. Yeah, Toru Yano doing some stupid stuff in the ring. And then Tetsuya Naito was mocking Toru Yano. And then there was um, blinding the referee stuff. Toru Yano went for the freaking low blow. It connects. They fought some more Toru Yano. Wins with the roll-up in less than four minutes. I love that. You know what? I would love it if Toru Yanu won the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Wouldn't that be amazing? I, I would love that. I would love that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Smarks are butthurt that Tetsuya Naito got squashed just like that. Stay butthurt, you Smarks. Um, but, um, yeah. I, I love that. That was so much fun. So much fun. Um, next match. We're going to get into some controversy here. And this is just me being honest. G1 Climax 29 B Block match. Tomohiro Ishii vs. Jeff Cobb. I played the highlights of this match. And um, I was kind of watching it. But the music in the background I was like jamming to. Not going to lie. I, was pay I, I, I didn't realize I was, I was actually... Paying more attention, jamming to the music, than I was actually um, like trying to look at the match. And um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really remember much from this match being that good at all. To be honest, I just remember awesome music, and I actually fell asleep. Yeah, I was like, 
I just fell asleep. I, I, I'll admit, I have been awake all night once again. Thankfully, I got a little nap just then. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really care about this match. Uh, I just gave it two and a quarter because <laughs> I didn't really watch it, didn't really care to watch it. It looked really slow and boring from what I saw, at least to me, just my perspective. As someone who honestly wanted to get this show over with. Um, so yeah. Ishii won. Awesome. Then we have the main event. G1 Climax. 29 to B Block Batch. Haruki Goto vs. Jay White. Smash was pretty dope. I love the counters. Especially from my boy Jay White. He was really getting in there in my opinion. And, um, so many counters between, I believe, finishes. I know Jay White's finisher is the Blade Runner, but I don't know what Goto's finisher is. I think it's, like, the suplex thing he always does. A lot of counters and back and forth between that. Um, it was, it was a dang good main event, honestly. I'm, 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 I'm at least happy that Jay White main evented. I'll say that. And, sadly, he, he lost this match, probably because they wanted to pander to Smarks even more. Who ate Jay White? But, um, it was still a good match, and at least he main evented, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, overall, fun show, even though I just watched the highlights. <laughs> uh, fun show, uh, Moxley, Taichi, and Yano, Naito were my favorite things about the show, is, is, that, is that not saying match? Either way, uh, those two matches really made it for me, not trying to sound like I'm insulting or anything, um, well, day three, tomorrow night, or two night, whatever, we got Extreme Rules tomorrow night as well, and we got Evolve tonight as well, and, uh, what else do we have, we have Evolve and Fight for the Fall and AEW, wow, <sighs> hopefully I can watch that, hopefully I can be able to watch those, I'll probably watch Fight for the Fall on first, before Evolve? I don't even know when Evolve is. Honestly. But, uh, yeah, that's my review, guys, uh, of NGPW G1 Climax 2019. Day 2, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.